you can come out here and get the spot of the realest. I solidify my spot with the realest. Not a rock with you niggas. It's time to purge this nigga. I really wanna hurt this nigga. Put both feet right through this pussy and breach burnt this nigga. Twin cannons. Twin cannons. Twin cannons. Squeeze out one clip to murk this nigga, then drop that iron and pick up the loaded one and fold this nigga. You're from Boston. I don't know any other female battle rappers from Boston. You have that market on your own. What is it like being 40 bars walking around Boston? Nothing. Nothing? <laughs> what? Nothing? <laughs> Nothing? I wish I could say it's like? just like, oh my God. And it's just like, Boston don't give a fuck about battle rap. Huh. You know? It's it would like, be different here for it's you. It's not like New York. When I come to New York, motherfuckers have stopped me in Dave and Buster's and all kind of shit. Like, I'll be, I'll be in fucking Jamaica, Queens on something. Like, oh, I'm about to go check C3. I'm about to go get a rollie out here. And like, oh, 40 bars. Like, oh, shit, bitch. I've gotten way more, like, people who know who I am as far as, like, that right. here than I've gotten at home. Yeah. And Boston's smaller. It's not like they don't show love, but it's, like, the market for battle rap's not the same. Like, people will watch stuff or whatever, and they'll watch... We don't particularly fuck with me because I'm from Boston, but mm -hmm. if you're not like, uh, you know, they don't know your name, like Matt Toffa, if you're not Charlie Clips or somebody that they've seen along the years from Smack Errors and DVDs, it's not the same. Mm -hmm. They're not fucking paying $50, $60, $100 to get into a fucking event. Nowhere. No That's fucking where. No fucking where. That's why I've never started a battle league. I, it's not because I wouldn't do it and I'm not ambitious enough to do it. It's because right. from where I would want to start it and base it, it's not a market for it. They're not going to pay for there? it. Chilla had fucking Shark Tank. You right. know what I'm saying? Like, it's not like he didn't get talent. It's not like he didn't know how to fucking curate fucking people. Motherfuckers don't want to pay to come into the event. You know what I'm saying? They'll, it's, it's just, it's not like here. You know, you guys have like, oh, the birth pot, like Biggie was here. It's not, like, it's, it's not that type of time. Mm -hmm. I'm not saying that we don't fuck with hip hop, but it's not like a, it's not something like, it's not a bunch of um, monumental things that happen with hip hop just like yo we you know what I mean? So it's not like that. Oh, I forgot to ask. Sis, you got a whole show on caffeine. What's up? Mm. So clap it up for 40. Clap it up for 40. I'm mad hype. Tell about me that. about that. Yeah. Tell me how that came in play. Tell me, you know I got a call or whatever. Call. No, let me stop. <laughs> and it was like leopard print. Nah. Oh, you know, um, it's, it's a, you know, I want to make see, another drink too, Matt. I didn't want to fucking get up and feel like the fucking. Good. You, 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 you reason this stuff? fucking How bottle is it? Like, like, nah, they're gonna be like forty to fuck. Well, you, you need a cup? I don't know. No, should I, no, should no, we hide it? Because we usually be on, you know. Are y'all on that time? I walk over. I walk over. I walk over. I walk over. Let me step over here. 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 Step over I'll wait till you sit so you, you be comfortable in your own comfort zone. And Think shit. about my, my you show. You coming on my show, bitch? In the meantime, you, you guys can check out you. On Friday oh, Night Fights. Yes. So, Friday Night Fights is going down. You know I'm Fit. a... I'm sorry. I'm, I'm going like to cut you off. I'm like one of your number one fan, so you Friday better fucking come on my show. Right now, we got Kate, AK Asia versus your boy Craig. That's out there. It's incredible. It's an actual ninja in the fucking video. Go check that out. After this, um, we got a lot of other battles going out. Every Friday, we're going to have battles live. Yo, did you talk Friday night? I Friday. Yo, did you talk about that Audi Boom Leo joint, man? Did you see that joint? Wait, hold on. Before Audi, that's a big subject. Okay. Listen, Audi, um, when people we're, talk we're, about Audi, we don't speak that name around here, bro. We don't speak that name around um, here, bro. 40, mm -hmm. she have a strong caffeine. Yes. A All fact. these caffeine shows is popping up. I see they're popping up slowly. Right. But when I saw yours, I was like, oh, whoop, whoop. So, what's that about? How it came about? You know, what, 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 what's the terms of the agreement that you have with caffeine? Damn, Finn. Like, thank you. Look, you thank this? you. I'm trying to get in this. I'm trying to get in this. Finn, what the fuck is going on? What's I'll, going I'll on? say you the place. Because they popping up. You know, I, look, niggas I'll say you the email. I'm not like that. On. Look, I got my shit. I'll say you the plug. I'm not a hater. Like, right. Talk to me, please. You said I'm Josh? I, what's huh? the, um, Josh? What's no, the, actually, it's a woman. Oh. Look at that. Bitches will rub. Bitches will uh, And she's interested in being empowering women. So I will pass 
your information along. Mm. But how do I ain't no yeah. hate. I got my shits. You can have your shit too. I'm good. <laughs> right. But yeah, what's that? Because uh, we're hearing a lot of rumors, especially me. About? Right? I hear rumors of, oh, this is what caffeine doing. This is what? Caffeine's so now I got somebody lit. in the seat right in front of me. I can ask myself. So what is the agreement? What's the what what, what what's it looking like? What's the agreement looking like? So. Caffeine is a pretty handsome situation. Okay. I can hold you. Um, I guess it's probably differs for different people or whatever. Right, but, um, right. As always. It comes with like a, a minimum of how many hours that you need to be broadcasting. Okay. Set you with a, you negotiate your little pay schedule based on how, it, and you know what I mean? And it goes from there. Right. I think it starts off with like a three month trial basis or whatever. And then from there, you guys decide if you want to renegotiate the deal or whatever like that. I'm not going to front. They're a really good company to fuck with mm. so Based if you on, can get like not if you can get like you're chasing or whatever but if that's something you was interested in and having a conversation with them the i'm not gonna hold you it, no no listen <laughs> it's a decent situation their what their money values versus i don't know what your numbers do whatever on your youtube mm -hmm. but like it's pretty decent they're a good streaming company man they believe in battle investing in battle rap and quote unquote battle rappers and stuff like that. And you know, 40 has the numbers to, to you know, be valid for her to get her situation. She's the first female battle rapper yes. to get a situation verified Cheers. in caffeine. This is not just that's no dope. Dope. regular. What's the show about? It's called We'd Like to Know. Weed. Weed. You see, you see. I like that. Yeah. Repeat it. Come on. That's why I love battle rappers. See, I don't yeah. even have to do that you with y'all. Feel me? Right, thanks. So, um, it's a stoner show. Um, everybody has to show on there. They're like watching battles and giving like reviews and stuff. That's not what I'm trying to do. Mm -hmm. I'd actually like to incorporate battle rappers, but I want to know what you guys think about shit outside of battle rap. Like, yo, Matt, what you think about um, transgender kids playing same sex sports? Like, what mm -hmm. you think about that? Wow. Mm -hmm. That type. See? Yeah. See how you face off furrow? Now you got to think about it. Yeah, but you understand what I'm saying? It might not even necessarily be that, but just like, this is like, there's everything going on in our world outside of battle rap. So right. my peers are battle rappers. But I want to show, like, yo, we got to think about and talk about and can discuss other type of shit besides my fucking last battle. Right. So we'd like to know, just be like, whatever the fuck I feel like talking for the day. I used to have a show called Respect Real Shit Radio, mm -hmm. and I used to do all kind of different subjects on it, so it'd be something similar to that. Okay. I'd be getting high the whole time, stoned and smoking. Yeah, I could tell you was getting lit during the um, tournament. Hits the blunt. Yeah. I smoke a lot of grass, contrary to people's belief. I'm not a fucking druggie. But, <laughs> you know, yeah, where did that surface from? I think when Tori said, you look like a nickel in a Coke bag or something. She said, like, something along that lines. And then it was just like, oh, that was funny. And then um, when I asked E. Hart why her and Jazz said it to me after Summer Impact, because I was like, bitch, you fucking made me cry, bitch. She was like, for real? I'm like, yeah, you did. Yeah, yeah. you did. No, they did. Really? They did. Really? Fuck yeah, they did. I Listen, I'm not one of these bitches. I don't have to lie to kick it. You understand what I'm saying? Right. I cried in the car. After Summer Impact, I walked to the car with my little furniture and my little moody shorts, and I cried in the car. Why? 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 What? what? Not because I fucking lost it, because I choked. I knew that was going to happen when I the went in there. Drunk. I had my glasses on. I'm, I am I could wear shit on my... I, you know what I mean? If I'm prepared, then it is what it is. I'm okay with that. Right. What made me cry is that the fact that so many people were like reacting and cheering and like like when I looked into the crowd, and I know it's just battle rap, but I think I was in the moment, maybe because I was already losing, whatever. Right. Like they were really cheering for like the druggy bar she was saying about me. They were saying about me, and I'm just Damn. like, y'all really think I'm a druggy? Like I could be a choke or I could be all that shit, but y'all right. really think I'm a druggy? So to me, um. Wow. That that fucked with me. I ain't gonna front. So That's I had text. That is deep. The thing that also made yeah, me crazy is you was wearing very, the, yeah, wearing the shades oh, and shit. Right. So if I put on the shades, I know I'm gonna choke. I know I don't know my material. I'm going. You know why I have on the shades? Cause I'm looking to the sky for my bars. Okay. So I already knew. I knew. When I came with the fuck. Me and Heart was back there. Like we knew we didn't have our bars together. Right. It was just like yo, you want with these shades? Yo, you put these on. I'm gonna put these on. All right, we out here. Like, that's what the fuck Both it was. Both of y'all like You know, our first shit. round was fucking crack. You understand what I'm saying? Our second round was like, damn, there's mad gaps. And our third round was like, bitch, if you can get through this chunk, I can get through this chunk, we might could level Did it Did you out. guys ever link up together? To I went to New York for almost like a week and stayed in her house and, and went and stayed with her. But and why not just break a leg or call out sick? 
I didn't have it in me to do it. I Man. promise you. Diva, didn't I tell you I was going to do this the night before? <laughs> yo, I was in the parking lot of the hotel like, we're going to get killed. Come on, yo. <laughs> what? <gasps> yes. So for yo. people to turn around and be like, oh, 40, it was your I fault. I'm like, yo, we both knew we didn't have our bars. Like, yo, I'm like, like, if, yo, keep it real. That's crazy. You died for would the Would you check. have gone, if I was your partner and you knew that you knew your material, would you have willingly went on stage knowing that could potentially make you look bad? 40. Or would you decide like, nah, bitch, I'm going to either spit on my shit and get it off or I'm not coming up there with you? No, nah, I would have went up there and, you died for the check. and had enough of Did myself. I die for the check? Of course I did. It's not the first time. I told you it's a real thing. It's not the first time. It's a time. real thing. God, you think you be up there like that for the check? I know I don't got it. But you need your well, other no. half. Sometimes I need mean my other Sometimes half. Sometimes you just don't fuck? got it. Like, they know. Sometimes you just don't got it. But I mean, first bitch. of all, I've died for the check two or three times, and I did. I did <laughs> I'm yo, not gonna. Yo, front. bump your cup. Bump your cup. It's just one of those, huh? Bump your cup. Bump <gasps> it. Bump it. Bitch. Yeah. Right. Don't drink from that stuff. What's now? So, so Ehar was aware that you, you didn't have your material. To it no, Ehar, <laughs> with all due respect to Hart, we're, we're a fucking team. You think she don't know that we didn't know our material the night before? We was up until 1, 2, 3 o'clock in the morning with Team 40 out there feeding us our bars. I have a type of squad that don't play that shit. When it's time for me, like, oh, I'm about to rap, I know my material, those motherfuckers will keep me up all night and rap with me. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? Because that's how they're like, no, bitch, we have to win. When you say, so maybe that's oh, why oh, she oh, was... when you say feeding you Thank your you. bars, what do you mean by that? Clear that up. Oh, shit, I was with Yeah, because that sounds like Clear they're that giving up. you What do you mean by feeding you no, your bars? No, I mean, like, like they, they will bars. hold my fucking notebooks in my hand, oh, okay. and if I'm fucking sitting my Please. stuff, it's like, yo, what's the next bar? What's the next bar? Right. They're like, you said, oh, choke. I'm like, okay, choke, da da da. Like, whatever. I don't have time for all this fucking shenanigans. Like, seriously, I don't. Come on, D-Boy, we're running a show, man. <laughs> Look, I'm that's so that's unprofessional. So, I just had to let us see a picture. Right, so, okay, so, you know, obviously, I'm, I'm like she old knew, school. I'm very regular. But just when, ask me and I'll when tell she you. get the impression that you know it, being that you have No, it. we practicing together. What impression would you get? <laughs> if you know you got to say some bars, and I got to say my bars. And if you're like, yo, 40 and from Murder Ave, you know how Brooklyn do. And I'm supposed to be like, every time I see, look at you, I want to put a all foot in you. If I don't come up with that fucking part every time we practicing, what you want to come to? What conclusion you want to come to? Oh, she don't this mean, bitch don't know her bars, fair know. to say. Yeah. And as much as I will be the first person to say, if I don't know my material, I'm not going to take the short like I was the only person who was not fucking prepared. I don't have to throw salt on any other bitch because that's not my style. Right. You know what I'm saying? Anytime I've won, I stand on it. Anytime I've lost, I stand on it. Right. So why the fuck would this need to be a different time? I'm going to blame you for not knowing my material? Right. No, shorty, we didn't fucking mesh. It wasn't. It, it just didn't, it didn't work out right. right. So we went and whatever, so... No. Do you guys have beef because of that? No. Now? Yo, this is the crazy shit. Because it made it seem like you had some static. Yeah, it, it made it seem like Because you. she was doing a lot of messy shit, talking about me and being fucking nasty. That's right. why. Okay. Doing all these little interviews and talking about me. I'm just like, well, damn, bitch, I'm not even talking about you. Mm -hmm. To the point where when we got the fuck off the event, or whatever the case may be, the first round, we both knew that our first round was fucking fire. We knew it back to back. The second round... It was some hiccups. There was a part that I could not fucking get right. There's a part that she couldn't fucking get right. Mm -hmm. But my part came up first. So it's going to be obvious. <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? Because I'm supposed to start this situation off. No excuses. It's just what, what the fuck it was. Do you remember the, 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 the bars now? Barely. My mind will push out stuff. If it is no use to me, it's over. That's how I feel about it. Right. Like when I was talking so about the judging gone. shit, it's gone. I can't even spit around sometimes the very next day if I've done it flawless. My mind is, after I leave the stage, it's over for me. I don't need it no more. It drops. Mm. Yeah. So, we also knew the third round was the most sketchiest round, but like, yo, if we can get the first and the second, like the third round is kind of like whatever. Mm -hmm. um, was having a hard time, but she had a big chunk of material that she had solid that she knew. And I had a big chunk of material that I knew that I had wrote about jazz and the truth, dude, or whatever the case may be. So I'm like, yo, fuck it. You say your shit, I'm going to say my shit. We're just going to try to get through it. Right. Was it no real cohesiveness to it because we couldn't get it together? But it's just like, fuck it. Let's just get through it. The third round came. Anybody who's watching the battle, I was like, yo, she's supposed to start the third round. And I'm like, yo, you ready? Whatever the case may be. She's like, I don't know the third round. The th I don't know. I'm Whatever. Jazz and I'm still doing that thing. And I'm like, damn, they bombing on this. Like, I'm like, yo, you should. Yo, stop asking me that for you. I don't know. I just told you. <laughs> I said, oh. Sound like you. Smack. We, we, we're not going with the next round. And that's exactly what I did. <laughs> we're not doing this. Because what the fuck you want me to do? No. Wow. Get out so, here and start rapping. So once I start, 
They're gonna be like, 40's choking again. <laughs> How you feel when she came out of the third round versus Hustle? She made her she made herself look like a clown, and the comments reflected that. And I'm pretty sure she regret she um like Regrets. regretted doing that. What do you mean? That ass. She, yo, hearts are, hearts cool as fuck. You know what I'm saying? Like regardless yeah. of what happened, that we didn't work as good as a team or whatever case may be. Mm -hmm. I fucked with her probably more than people knew before we even battled. Right. We just weren't able to mesh as a good team, so that affected shit or whatever. The fucking battle happened. I got on. Fuck, they do an interview. I tell niggas, you know what the first thing I tell niggas is like, um. We were waiting for a prop in the third round, and it didn't come. So that's why we that's why we forfeit. Yeah, that's what right. I heard. Yeah. That's what I said. Yeah. Like a fuck, we wasn't waiting for no fucking prop. <laughs> she didn't fucking know her fucking the beginning, nigga. And I wasn't gonna throw her under the bus because that's not how the fuck I was raised. You understand what I'm saying? Right. But guess what? While I'm saying at the same time, she's over here doing an interview, telling motherfuckers like you was unprepared. I was the problem because I I accepted where I fucked up, but like you said, she was supposed to do that too. Like now we both wasn't ready. This is just what it was. Wow. I don't I don't come from that kind of shit. You mm. know what I'm saying? So to me, it was just like oh, oh, oh okay, whatever. Mm. Wow. I had nothing else to say. I took it on the chin. It was what the fuck it was. But it's, I, she just was, you know, extra with it. Like, oh, 40 this, and it's just like, whatever. So when she jumped out in the um, hustle battle, the bars weren't even that good. And that's not like being corny or nothing. They weren't that good. Like, you didn't come out here with no crazy haymakers or no knock me the fuck down. And like, it, you came out like, you said this one. That's it. They dragged you on the comments. You didn't, you didn't, you didn't knock me off my, my square. So what the fuck was the point of doing that? They didn't invite you to the fucking summer impact or whatever the case. They didn't invite you to the royalty and you was that desperate to get to the card. That's how I felt like. Mm. Mm. So. so that's kind of crazy because um, obviously the perception that the audience had was that, you know, we you had dropped like the ball. Kind of, yeah. But right. I think what was the biggest factor in that was on stage when she was like, come on, 40. Come on, 40. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Fit, did I do that to her in the third round? Because I could have just started third. They were like, yo, so on you, 40 and E heart. I'm like, go ahead, heart. Right. Heart is so on you. Come on, heart. I could have done some corny yeah, shit right. like that. <laughs> but I don't even. Because <laughs> that part made it really bad. At that point, everybody that part, was I'm like, be honest, oh, it's that you. part made me like, when we got off the stage or whatever, I'm not fucking with this bitch. Like, that part made me like that. Like, we're not going to argue, but just like, damn, you try to throw me under the bus. Like, bitch, you knew I fucked up on this part five times last night. Like, I'm not trying to make no excuses, but this isn't something that you didn't know. Right. I told you last night, like, yo, you need to come in as soon as it, I say this. You know your shit, bitch, cut me off and start rapping. Right. You let me do that, which is fine. And then you're saying, come on, 40. I'm just like, oh, no, I can't. This is not something that was a surprise for you. Yeah, that's Bitch, right. we have been doing this for two days. I came to your house a week before. You were supposed to come to New York. I mean, to Atlanta, you never came. You, I mean, to Boston, you never came to Boston. I flew up there. I had a battle, like, two weeks beforehand. I'm like, I'll fucking pay you gas money, whatever. Have your people bring you here. We'll practice. Just, you know, get some kind of... Right. Come Roderick something or whatever case me like nah I can't do it she bullshit I right, fine so I gotta wait three more weeks until I'm able to take off time from my job and it's like August 1st or August 2nd so I'm like fuck it I'm just gonna take the week off going into the battle and we're just gonna do the best we can and it wasn't enough we both knew that going into it it wasn't it wasn't like how when I prepped with Bonnie it wasn't the same I I've done a two on two before so as much as motherfuckers was trying to play me and say like oh, it was my fault or whatever case may be. I'm like, why didn't they ever take into consideration? It's not about just bars and preparation. It's about being able to work in a fucking team, two creatives being right. able to mesh together. Right, right. I've been able to do that in the past. She hasn't. Why wasn't that factored in? Well, Niggas pick I, and choose. I actually didn't understand the, the team. The team. Right. I was That's because away. a lot of people didn't know that we, that like, you know, I'm not saying like we were besties or nothing like that, but we were, we were pretty cool. Like, you know, here and there, like we spoke, like we, you know, we had a decent rapport. Like it wasn't like a, a random like, hey, let's grab heart and hey, let's grab forty. Like we were cool, you know what I'm saying? Right. So it wasn't like we're just not. Something that we're to, not social so, media people, so you're not gonna see us making fucking TikToks right. and and finishing each other's work. I'm fucking grown as fuck. I'm right. not doing too much of that shit. Mm. I'm damn sure I'm not doing it with another grown ass bitch. You know what I'm saying? So I think that's where people was kind of like they didn't see yeah. the. Because you know, obviously the jazz and official the they they be with each other. I didn't even know the bitches were friends like that. <laughs> I mean, I don't know, but obviously, like, on, you know, we're like, oh, okay. 
but also the fact that, you know, official's aggressive style and neither you or her, I felt like, is ever aggressive. Right. So I don't think it's aggressive next because official drops the ball when it comes to being more than one. Like, she's... She's one dimensional. Player. Absolutely. She's so for me, I wasn't boss. worried about the. I wasn't worried about the yeah. aggression because if somebody comes to me like, "Yo, forty, I'll fuck you up," and I'm like, "Really, bitch? When?" Mm. What? <laughs> Pastey is a master at doing that. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. So to me, it's just like I, that's just the deflated. Yeah, deflated, right? Yeah. Right. But they were so fucking dope as a fucking unit, like cohesive. Like they were, they, they were fluid. Yeah, they knew you know what each I'm saying? Bars that just shit. made us look that much more unprepared, that much more not together as a team. And just like us sucking and them being that much more stellar just made everything fucking, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. It was like, yeah. But it's battle rap. Yeah. So I'm, you win some, you I lose some. I love battle rap. Right, right, right. The longer you stay in this shit, <laughs> everybody get their licks eventually. Smack rapper, only smack rapper that you know is smack rappers. Got bars, I can hang with the backpackers. Trap star, I don't hang with the backpackers. I'm in the hood with the work you heard. Making fiends leave earth, you heard. Got your baby mama thirst, you heard. Feel the flow, nigga, throw it in reverse. This the wave you need to surf, you heard. Yo, Jim, I need a bomb I could drop on you niggas. Bad boy, I'm never gonna stop for you niggas. I don't give a fuck who you got as the illest. I solidify my spot with gorillas. Now I'm rock with you niggas.